Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll take a look at Nitrogen OS for OnePlus 3 and 3T, which is based on Android 9.0, that is Android Pie. In this video, we'll cover things like performance while playing PUBG, battery backup of the ROM, features, and things which are working so that you guys can decide whether it can be used as daily driver or not. So without further ado, let's get started. I have already installed it on my OnePlus 3 and I have been using since almost 2 to 3 days. The installation process is quite simple, just flash the ROM files along with the Google app package with any custom recovery available. So guys, first let's take a look at the software information, going to settings, system, about phone and here you can see Android version is Android 9 with a security patch of 5th August 2018. We won't be covering much about the UI and all as you are already aware about the quick setting panel, the new recents panel and the volume panel. Rest other things like notification slider and right now I am using pixel launcher along with the google live wallpaper. So all the links you can find it in the description below so that you guys can download and install it. This ROM comes pre-installed with an AOSP camera which I don't prefer to use. Instead I am using google camera application for better picture quality and in which front and back portrait are working fine. The only issue what I have been facing on this ROM is with Volt services. Volt services are not working as of now. I also tried the Volt fix which is given on their XDF forum but after flashing that Still Volt services are not working on my Geo SIM card. But still you can use internet services. Dash charging. On this build, NFC is also working fine but few users have been complaining regarding NFC. But on my device it is working perfectly fine here. And here I have received the file. So now let's go to the settings. And here network and internet everything seems to be working fine excluding Geo services. Under connected device, Bluetooth and NFC as I've already shown you. Then we have battery in which I'll also show you the battery stats with the first cycle. Under display, we have all of the basic options like adaptive brightness, auto rotation and on this ROM, we also get always on display. Along with new notification wake up and both of them are working fine. Under device theme, you have three options that is automatic, wallpaper based, light and dark. Digital well-being does not come pre-installed on this, I have installed it manually. I'll put up a video link in the description below. You can follow the same guide to install digital well-being. On this ROM, we also get option to customize the ROM. Here you have options like status bar, quick settings, buttons, navigation bar, gestures, lock screen, power menu, notification, miscellaneous and device features. Under status bar, you have status bar items. Then you have quick setting panels which is completely empty. Maybe all these things will work in the upcoming builds. There are few options where we don't have anything available inside that. Then we have buttons under which volume rocker doesn't consist of anything. If you want you can also disable the hardware keys. Moving on to navigation bar, here you can enable navigation bar and if you want to customize the buttons you can customize from here. Then we have gestures which does not include anything. Lock screen where we have option of lock screen charging info and few other stuff. Under power menu, if you want, you can add additional shortcuts. There are no issues with the flashlight also. On other custom rooms, people have been complaining regarding the flashlight. After that, we have options to customize notification in which it includes head-up notification, battery charging light and few in-call vibration options. Then we have miscellaneous, which have option of wake up on plug. After that, we have device features, which include screen off gestures, Double tap to wake. You can add custom gestures from here and use them when the screen is off. Under graphics, we have RGB mode along with high brightness mode. We have few more options under ambient display which includes pulse notification, proximity sensor that is hand wave and pocket pulse. So guys, these are the customization options available on this ROM. And if you guys don't use any type of old services, then this is one of the stable ROM I have found for OnePlus 3 and 3T. Now moving on to the performance part. To test, I played around 8 to 10 minutes of PUBG game. And when I started the game, the battery percentage was at 100%. 
and the temperature of the device was 37 degree. I did not find any kind of lags while playing the game. Game was pretty much smooth on this OnePlus 3 running Android Pie. After playing game for 8 to 10 minutes, the device temperature reached up to 38.5 degrees Celsius which was pretty much ok for a game like PUBG. Now talking about the benchmark results, I've used Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. Under Geekbench application, single core scores 1719 wherein multi core scores 3982. The Antutu Bench application, the device scores 1,66,219. Now let me show you the battery backup which I got it on the first cycle. So I have already taken a screenshot for that. And as you can see my device screen on time was 4 hours and 56 minutes with my normal usage. So I have done surfing somewhere around 1 hour 58 minutes that is 2 hours. YouTube somewhere around 1 and a half hour and I also played PUBG for somewhere 51 minutes. And that time the battery percentage was 3%. So battery drain is also not a problem on this ROM. My screen on time remains somewhere between 3 hours 45 minutes to 4 hours 30 minutes. And this may vary as per your usage. So guys that's all about Nitrogen OS for OnePlus 3 and 3T. If you have any kind of doubts you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video, hope you like the video. And if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a great day.